does anyone else get a little, you know, frustrated, not frustrated, but just get a little, I don't know what the word is. When it comes around like supper, like trying to always figure out what to eat. It's already hard enough for me to figure out what I want to eat. <laughs> Did you enjoy supper? Did you eat? Yes, was it good? Yeah. <laughs> Approaching, and I really didn't want to cook and thank God I didn't have to because the day before your girl made a roast so I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little glimpse of what I did to feed my family over these past two days I picked up a double roast <laughs> I picked up this double double roast what I typically do is put one away in the freezer but this time I was like no honey because majority of the times when I make it like it does serve a day but then generally my family kind of wants to have some more and I realized that they don't mind having roast two days in a row. So why stress myself out? So what I did last, the last time I bought roast, which was this past weekend, is, is that I went ahead and I threw them both into my crock pot and, and, and cooked them. So what that did was we had dinner yesterday out of it and you know what? I was actually just gonna make it and have it with potatoes and stuff, but we had potatoes the day before and we actually kind of had red meat steak the, the day before because it was Father's Day. So it was different having that kind of like, you know, red meat kind of like back to back. But either way, we had the roast the day after Father's Day. And then we ended up having a whole one. In fact, we had a little bit off of the one that the other one that we used up too. So that's how we had supper today. Lately, I've been having so much on my plate and I'm just like, I don't want to say like over, I'm overwhelmed, but technically I'm overwhelmed. Like going into the kitchen, I like to cook for my family, but I don't want to be in the kitchen every single day. That is the part where I I just feel a little frustrated. Like I don't want to be in there every day. So my trick as of late is to make things that can last and we can have it the next day. Or if I don't want to cook, I'll have something. We'll have something very simple that they can either just pop in. But I am so grateful I didn't have to cook today. But I still end up having to cook rice because we ran out of rice. So the next thing I think I should do is just make a large pot of rice. This little pot is not cutting it for our large family of seven. We made a pot of rice and realized we still needed more and then I ended up having to make a second pot. So that didn't work out to my liking, but at least it still saved me having to make like a whole meal. It was just rice. Does anyone else get a little, you know, frustrated, not frustrated, but just get a little, I don't know what the word is. When it comes around like supper, like trying to always figure out what to eat, it's already hard enough for me to figure out what I want to eat. It's sometimes it just gets, it feels so mundane, like making the same things over and over. And even though I want to try new things, sometimes it's like, it's, sometimes it's just, it can be stressful having to try something new just because it all, a lot of the times they call for so many other ingredients and then it costs you to spend out of your budget um, to go pick it up. Not that we stick to the budget. That's We'll leave that for another day. We never really stick to our budget for grocery shopping, so we gotta work on that. So me thinking like this is actually not even a bad thing for our budget, but 
it can just be so overwhelming just like always coming up trying to come up with other new things and so lately too i'm trying to like reinvent certain things so it's like we made ground turkey one day and we had ground turkey with uh rice we seem to be enjoying rice a lot lately and then the next day we had it in the form of like sloppy joes i know traditionally you don't usually make sloppy joes with ground turkey but you could technically make sloppy joes with whatever you want so we went ahead and did that i didn't film it but i should have so i'm gonna try to start documenting some of our meals that we eat so you guys can see like how we are how we feed our family of seven and um you know buying the two rows back together i guess that is a deal when you get them together that it is a deal so it is you are saving money and time and energy when you cook it in a large batch one thing i must say is like meal prepping to free stuff i still am having a hard time with doing that it's just like things don't taste the same after they've been in the freezer for so long and so that's the one part that i find difficult my husband agrees i i agree um i'm not sure about the kids because <laughs> i think they'll probably agree yeah being caribbean we like things with flavor and so i find that things things that are stored away for a long time it loses its flavor i guess one can always add maybe some seasoning to it i guess yeah so i have a hard time getting together with the, the meal prepping with certain things and it's a big family there's always so much going on and having food prepared and ready to go is always a plus but um using my busting up my crock pot is like the best thing i can do with certain meals like that where i can, I can have i can cook one batch of food and have leftovers for the next day so I don't have to be in the kitchen and it's as simple as the kids being able to put on some rice or just heat it up and we're good to go so that's what we did today and that was actually a success <laughs> did you enjoy supper did you eat yes was it good mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> you're being so cheeky you're being so cheeky oh wow you got my makeup all over your face now all over your face Oh, your face. <laughs> you think you're so funny? Okay, so so while I have you guys, I want to show you what I just ordered in the mail. So if you guys watched my last vlog, you would have seen that we got ourselves a rabbit. And I... <laughs> We've been meet, we didn't put out the intro video yet because we were kind of waiting to do it. So that's going to be out. But we've been taking care of this rabbit for a little bit. And for the most part, myself and the girls have been cleaning up after him. So that said, I wanted to find a simplified way to help take care of our new family member. Because I wanted the little one who actually requested to have this pet to be able to help and not just be able to just sit there and pet the pet all day and everyone else does all the hard parts i wanted her to be involved so that i picked up this handheld vacuum and this is from amazon um it is it is for actually for deep cleaning so it's said that like you can use it to vacuum out your car it's deep for deep cleaning so it's good with hair like pet hair and stuff like that which is Kind of what I need it for, but not really because our rabbit doesn't really shed that much. But we just want it to be able to, you know, vacuum up those little pellets, <laughs> aka poops. And um, just help to keep his crate super clean. And I think like the little one will be able to do this as well. So I grabbed this. It had a lot of good reviews. If you guys want access to this, definitely look. See the link in my description box. I like it because it comes with a bunch of attachments. It comes with a bunch of attachments and it also comes with like a wall mount so you can w mount it on the wall which is cool because I never had one of those except outside of like my Dyson. But yeah, it comes with a wall mount with the plug and a pretty long plug at that to make sure that you can, you know, create some kind of a secure section. It comes with the bristle brush. These are always good because this is exactly what helps to re remove like hair and rakes hair and stuff like that out of things. Love that. And then it also came with, this was a little bit odd, a little different. It came with this little brush. This reminds me of like those brushes that you use to clean out baby bottles. But I'm thinking it's just to be able to use to clean out the filter, maybe to use to clean out an area if anything gets stuck or to, to be able to push through and clean. Yeah, I think it's something along the lines of that. 
But I'm excited about this purchase, y'all. So one of the next things that I got was this thing right here. I know y'all are probably wondering, what the heck is that contraption? It is a, what do they call it? Let me see, what do they call it? They called it like a, a gripper? Something along the lines, okay? I don't remember the exact name. But what it is, is, oh, it's a phone holder, a phone holder. So this part holds your phone and your phone can be like this filming down and this gets, this grips a desk. So you wind it one way to loosen it as far and then you wind it the other way to close it as close to the desk as you want to. I just put this to use today and might I tell you, it changed the game for me. I had the other tripods but they, they tilt on an angle but they don't tilt and go flat, um, flat down. I'm sure they those exist but I never had one. So I was on the hunt to try to find something that works and this thing does the trick. It's called a Lamical. That's the name of the brand and it's heavy duty guys. Like this thing is actually heavy duty, which I really like. I like that this isn't flimsy. It's not gonna like flip over. So for those of you who are like me, I know some of you guys are actual creators yourselves and you, if you're ever looking for something like this, click check out my link, check out the link in my description box so you can know where to go get yourself one of these because they're actually worth it. They are, it is worth it completely. It wasn't very expensive, I believe it was like $19 I think yeah it wasn't expensive at all and definitely worth the purchase so my kids have picked me up a bunch of these because they know that I want to start doing more gardening I'm trying to clean this one up by just picking off all the dead leaves but they knew that I wanted to do more gardening and they knew that I wanted some of the little plants as well but the key the thing with them is they're harder to water so I had to go on the hunt on the weekend to find this yeah Thank goodness I grabbed it because if I didn't, how else would I water these things? They're so difficult to water because you can't access them, but they're flourishing. I love this one, but I kind of wish it was a different color. Mick chose red because her favorite color is red, but I don't really like red that much, but I like it because it's from her and I like the plant. It's really, really pretty. So this right here is another one of my babies. I haven't named this one yet. Do you guys name your plants? I don't know, I wanna name this one, but I haven't named it yet. Obviously this will be so much easier to just do it down below, but I'm talking and showing it to you, so maybe I should just move it down below. The kids and I are getting ready to do a video with the rabbit for you guys because we want you to see our new family member. I really like this bottle though, because not only can you just use your thumb, you can go like this. You can use your your finger, to your um, index finger, pointer finger, and it does the trick really well, as, so I like that. Comment down below and let me know if you guys are plant moms out there, if you guys like plants and how do you do with your plants? What's your trick? I need a lot of help in this department. I wanna be able to say, look at my garden. It's flourishing, my indoor garden. But you know, one day, <laughs> I'm trying to do it one plant at a time, not take it all on, all. I don't wanna try to take them all on at once and then they don't thrive, so that wouldn't be good. Okay, so anyways, this is a succulent. This one needs, indirect sunlight which is why i got it to begin with because i knew the area i was going to put it in it would get some natural light from outside but it's not going to get um direct sunlight and this says water in pot every three weeks is that even okay i gotta look that up to see if that's accurate you guys another box just came for me and this is for i think a shelf that i want to put in my bathroom but i don't want to i don't want to unbox it yet because i want to do an unboxing specifically for my amazon store so that will be coming but i think i might end the vlog here and then we'll include the vacuum footage in the introduction video with our pet so be on the lookout for that. For those of you who want to know and meet our pet, be on the lookout. The video should be either up before this or after. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys want to see more videos on of me just sharing, like how we do things as a family, how we get things done, how I manage, how I you know manage being a mom of five, um, and you want to see if any, you want to see more videos like that, definitely leave a comment down below so I know. Um, 
and yeah i will look into making more videos like that don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye y'all